You know Friday? It's after yeah. Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Before Saturday. Yeah. I missed last class. I know you did. That's why I asked, did you watch the video? Did I miss that class? I think you did miss it, didn't she? Yeah. And you missed it as well. The, 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 yeah. Tut, tut, tut. Right. Um, we did some of these in class. Um, let me see. But I have a question. Yes? What lesson? Hey, come on, guys. I Too short. Yeah. Chilling in the canteen, huh? No, not canteen. Where then? Roundabout. A roundabout. Come on. Come on. You know how this works. You come in and you sit down. Sorry, Fuang, what lesson were you talking about? Exponential. Uh, okay, exponential equations. Let's have a look at that. Right, which one? So, we'll start with that. Which question, Fuang? Do you know... When you have a really bad headache <laughs> and it just seems to be there all the time and then you wake up and it's gone. The feeling of miss is like this feeling. <laughs> if I, I don't think there's a word for it. Yes, that's <laughs> it. I'm aching for you. Yes. Okay. Which question for um, Three C and... Wait, wait, which one? Three or four? Three C. Three C. Okay. So before before we do anything with logs, let's have a look at this one. Um, three C. This one? Yeah. It's a good one. Yeah. Um, I'll give people a minute to try it before I do it. Was it a homework question or...? Yeah, question. yeah okay. So then you should have already tried it. So maybe I'll just start it then. Um, this is the exponential equations lesson if you want to open it. <coughs> right, let's have a look. Uh, 2 power 2x plus 5. Minus. Two power x plus five plus eight equals zero. Yeah, that's okay. Uh, so, what should I do first? Any ideas? Move the way to the other side. No, definitely not. Separate. Yeah. We want to separate this into 2 power 5, 2 power 2x, minus 2 power 5, 2 power x. And I suppose we could change this into 2 cubed. Not that it's helpful, except for I can clearly see a chance to divide everything here by 2 cubed. To make it a little easier. So this would be 2 uh, squared. 2x squared minus 2 squared 2x plus 1 equals 0. So this is 4 times 2 power x squared minus 4 times 2 power x plus 1 equals 0. Um, does this have factors? I might. 
Well, it has to be a 1 and a 1. 2x minus 1. <coughs> yes. Uh, so we only have one possibility. 2x equals 1, which means that x has to equal 0. No? What? Equals 1, right? Oh, I'm sorry, I understand now. No, no, I understand. I miswrote. I should also be putting in a 2 here. Yeah, 2 here and 2 here. So then I have 2 times 2x equals 1. Yeah. Uh, so then I get 2x equals a half, which equals 2 to the minus 1. So then x equals minus 1 then. Okay, that's what it should be. All right, write this one down. And uh, form, you have another question, yeah? Six. Oh, which one? Six. six. Please write this one down if you need to. Did you get your um, Lithuania test results? You have them already? And they give you an offer letter? Or what way does it work? Uh, they are supposed to give us an uh, offer letter, but we didn't receive our letter. Okay, but you know you're to get one. Yeah. And what was it? Just biology and chemistry on the test? No maths, no physics, no English? Just those two subjects? Okay. Well, maybe a little bit. Uh, I suppose you need some English to answer the biology and the chemistry. Uh, okay, you have this? Yep. Um, so, number six. Aha. So, I tell you, C, E, K, C, E, two K and then well what am I checking for? The next one's C E three K. Uh show that it's in geometric progression and write it in the form of A or uh so in other words show that it's geometric and um find the A and the or well clearly the A is C E K clearly so we have a equals C E K. But to show that it's geometric, we need to show that C E 2 K over C E K, that's equal to OR. And that's the same as C E 3 K over C E 2 K. That you're multiplying by the same number. Uh, what will this equal? C E K. Yeah. No. E K. Man, you are sleepy today. Yeah. yeah, what time did you go to bed at? Ten. Ten? Man, I went to bed at like three. <laughs> Come on. Uh, EK is what you get here when you cancel. So we have the OR equals EK. Uh, so that means UN is ORN minus one. That's CEK, EK, N minus one. Um, I suppose we can clean this up a little bit if we need to. So that's C E K E K N minus K, which is C E K plus K N minus K, which is C E K N, which obviously gives us something you could have guessed at the start. C E K bracket n. This is the a and this is the or. Well, we said that earlier. Mm.
Is this important? Open it in the glass. Just in case it's important. Just to see the the flick. No. I suggested looking at the logs, practical problem next. Yeah, unless there's something you want to see before that. No, we'll go to that one. Okay. Do, do, do. Does actually and smoke signals too, right? Um, it also runs on electricity. Hey. Yeah, 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 it does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, too far. Uh, okay. <laughs> right. Let's see. Uh, so I remember I did number one and two, and you did three in class. Um, so I'll probably continue from four. Now I know I did suggest to do all of these at home, but um, I know some people were missing. So what we could do is we could take turns doing some of these now. I don't think I did, no, number four I said was only for the business students, so it's actually uh, starting with five, uh, so will I start with five or will I start with six or, five. did you do any of these? No, I didn't. That sounds like you didn't try. No, I didn't try. That's why I wanted to do the first Did one. you really try? Yes, I did. Really? Yeah. Really? Yes. Yeah, well, not. One <laughs> <laughs> to man. <laughs> right. Um, okay. I don't believe you, but I'll do them anyway. So I'll just give you just even one or two minutes just to read number five and try to start it at least, and then I'll do it. Uh, so I, I don't think number five is that hard because I give you the formula. Uh, I give you I0. 10 to the minus 12, I give you the B, 13.4, and I want the I. In other words, you know B, you know I0, and I want the I. I don't think it's too difficult. Try again, and maybe this time you'll get it. Does log and burst exist? Yes. It does. But it's not on our calculator. It is? It is. So can we use that just to find this? Use the what? Log in this. Yes. <coughs> Good. But you know what log inverse is. We've done it already. Okay. But that's not what I meant. But okay. 
I know what you meant. You've been reading chemistry books again, haven't you? Uh, in chemistry, they have a thing called the log inverse, don't they? Yeah. Okay. What's bin? Hmm? Bin. B-I-N. B-I-N? Yeah. Oh, binomial. Oh, that's it. It's uh, for calculating probabilities, I'd say. Is it written B-I-N bracket N, or just B-I-N? If you type it in on the calculator, does it look for an N and an R? Two numbers? No, it just says bin on the screen? No brackets? Mm -hmm. When you use it, it gives you, like, it displays a uh, decimal on the bottom. Oh, okay. Right, let's have a look now. It shouldn't take you that long to do. So you have uh, B equals log base 10 I over I0. Okay, so I tell you the B and I tell you the I0 and I want the I. Okay, what did I say the B was? Okay, and the I0 was 10 to the minus 12, wasn't it? So, using the second rule of logs, I, I can change it into this, yeah? And then using whatever, the third rule, I can change it into this. <coughs> Uh, but we know what log 1010 is. It's 1. And if I take the 12 to the left, I get 1.4 equals log base 10i. Or in other words, 10 to the power of 1.4 equals i, using the inverse log. Um, so if I just hit that in, 10 to the power of 1.4, and I get 25.1. 25.1 watts per square meter. Okay. That's the answer for whatever that one was. Number something. Uh, number five. Can you do three? Three? Did I not do three in class? We ah. we try number three. You failed? Failed yeah, miserably? Yeah. Okay. I'll do number three next. <coughs> number three is next when you're ready. Uh, Wong is at the bank. And that's it. Oh, no, sir. Omar. Where's he? No, he's sick. He's sick? Okay. That's what he's saying. Can you believe him? <laughs> Don't. None. Uh, how, how could you, could you just remember how to move the log? Um, how did I remove it? No, 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 not that. Uh, last stuff. Oh, yeah. Ten, the definition of log. 10 to what power makes i. 10 to the power of 1.4 makes i. Oh, uh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, can I scroll down? Okay. Three. Uh, a town consumes 12 megawatts per day at the start of 2013 and then consumes 13 megawatts a day at the end of 2013. Find a formula for its energy consumption. Um, and since we're working in days, that's what I'll do. So the energy, the power consumption is A E B T. And we know at the very beginning the power consumption is 12 megawatts a day, and at the very end the power consumption is 13. So if I use this one first, I'll get 12 equals A E 0. So I have A is 12. 
Now I'll use this one next to get the uh, B. 13 equals 12E 365B. So that means 13 over 12 equals E 365B. Put a log on both sides. Log and E cancel. So I get B is log 13 over 12 over 365. So let's see what that is on the calculator. Log 13 over 12 over 365, 0 0.000219. So now I have my first formula, power is 12 E 0 0.000219 T. Yes? Okay. That's the first part. So write that down and then we'll go on to part B. Got that? Yeah. Now part B, it's the same idea except this time assume it to be linear. So B, the power equals AT plus B. At the beginning, the power is 12. At the end, the power is 13. So if I use that one first, I get 12 equals 0 plus b, so I have b equals 12. So power is at plus 12. And now if I use this one next, I get 13 equals 365a plus 12. So a is 1 over 365. Right? So now I have power is 1 over 365 t plus 12. So that's the second formula. Can I scroll down? Not yet. So we're just at the first Yeah. Dude, I know you're watching something over there. Right? Huh? What's on the laptop? Something interesting? That's right, close window, tap tap, uh, there we go. Gaming video, no, Max video? Of course. Yeah. Okay. Um, Partina? Yep. C. What is the difference in the predictions? for the end of 2014. So what's happening here is the first formula we got uh, makes a curve shape between the two whereas the second formula we got is linear so it's a straight line. If you use the first formula to predict for uh, the next year or if you use the 
second form that's predict for the next year, uh, which answer will be bigger? The first one. Yeah, the first one will be a little bit bigger than the linear. Um, so let's see how different the two models are. So the first one, uh, it will be p equals 12e, what was it, 0 0.000219? Yeah, two one nine. And what's the time here? Zero. No, no, predicted. Uh, Three sixty-five times two. Uh, what's that? Seven hundred thirty. Seven hundred and seventy. No, seven hundred eighty. So the gun first answer. Right, seven thirty. And here the power is twelve. No, the power is. 1 over 365 times 730 plus 12. Well, that one's easy. That'll be 14. Uh, what's this one? I don't know. Let's calculate it. 12. No. 12. E power 0 0.000219 times 730. Wait, seven thirty? Are you sure? Three six five five two. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see what we get. Fourteen point oh eight. So there is a small difference of uh point oh eight. Which model do you feel is um more accurate though, if you were to pick one? Yes. Why? <laughs> yeah, but you're going to need more than that. Because I could have said second, because it's linear. <laughs> <laughs> so give me, give me something else. Because the rate of change of the rate of change of the linear uh, crosses table is more constant. Yeah. So why does that make the first one better? Uh, We're getting closer. Linking it to reality is good. Uh, so in reality, most things grow exponentially in life. Towns, uh, bank balances, um, if they do, or decrease exponentially then. Yes. Um, <laughs> exponential is a more common growth. However, it depends. In the long term, this one is probably more accurate because the exponential, no town grows exponentially forever. What would happen is it will probably grow like this and then flatten off. So in the short term, exponential is best. Uh, in the medium term, linear is probably better, but then in the long term, neither are so good because both will, both the linear and the exponential will overestimate the usage in the future. Now the reason I'm saying this is because sometimes for like one mark in the exam, they might ask a question like, which model will be better in the future? Or are these models good models? So you can answer yes or no. The important thing is the reason you give. So if the question was which model is better for the long term, I would say neither. Uh, because in my opinion, they both overestimate since the town will reach some limit. So what's the word for when you're trying to reach a limit? No, just in general. Convergent, yeah. So the population is probably convergent, or, or at least the energy usage is convergent. You know, you might say, well, if the town keeps getting bigger, won't the energy keep going up? True, but also don't forget, uh, the town won't grow forever, and in fact, some towns then start to decrease in size after they reach some peak. You know, so I think um, I would say neither. Uh, it's more most likely that it's convergent to a limit, so 
neither exponential nor linear is convergent. Yeah. It's only one mark, so in the exam they would just like one good sentence. Yeah. Okay, uh, so that answers part uh, uh, C there of three, four, five. Okay. Um, six, have we done? I know you haven't. Um, did anybody get six? Uh, right, we'll do six, but I feel like you should be able to do six now because six is a lot like the A part of three I just did, except instead of power, you're measuring percentages, but so what? And the time instead of days is measured in years. So, uh, carbon-14 has a half-life of 5730. Uh, so what that means is every 5730 years you have 50% less carbon-14 so basically what I'm telling you is at the beginning you have 100% of your carbon-14 and then whatever 5000 years later you're down to 50%. So, carbon-14 is equal to A, E, B, T. Do you have enough information to find the A and the B? You do, because it's just like the example I did with the power. Time, I gave you, and quantity, I gave you. So, you can find the A and the B. And then my question is, if the, the carbon-14 is this percentage, then what's the time? So, the answer should be somewhere between zero and five thousand. <laughs> yeah, uh, because what happens is it starts off with a hundred and decreases to fifty after about five thousand years. So if you're at eighty percent, then you're probably around about two and a half thousand, something like this. I think you can do this. At least I hope you can do this, because this is what you get in the exam. So I'll give you a minute to try it before I do it. Uh, number six, please. So it's like you're using like a uh, for just listening to music then. Time. Time. <laughs> okay. Um, you're finished. No, 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 no. Right, right. No, 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 that's carbon-14. It's an isotope. You did isotopes in chemistry? Yes, you did. Of course you did. Have you done carbon isotopes in chemistry? Yes. Yeah? No. But you've done isotopes. Um, it's, it's carbon with an extra two neutrons, isn't it? Carbon-14 is carbon with an extra two neutrons, yeah. Oh, of course, you would have done carbon 12 for moles. Not yeah, carbon carbon moles. moles. But, like, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. we spoke about it in the uh, atomic mass. So yeah, yeah. Uh, 
Is there any reason carbon is used as the definition for mass? For mass? There is. The most uh, common element in the world. In the world? Yeah, because yeah, it's everywhere. But not in the universe. Back then. So yeah, okay. That's no, it's everything is in the Everything, everything living is, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah but the reason is sorry, because back then that was the most used element and known element. That's why. It was the most well understood. Okay. So no special reason then. There's no special property or anything like this. Okay. Right. You've got this one finished? Number six and number three were exam questions, or at least something very similar to it. Too big, no. It has to be somewhere in the region of two and a half thousand. Two thousand. This is, this is, okay, wait, it's this minus the. <coughs> finished? 1,174. 1,174? Too small. Okay, can you scroll down for the answer? Uh, and that the sounds answer. more like it. Yeah, 1,900 sounds like the answer. No, that is the answer. I didn't do that. Oh. <laughs> what did you get? So to two significant figures, 1,900. Yeah. All right, let's have a look. Oh. This one is actually important. All right, try this for another minute. Okay, let's have a look at this. 
Right. Um, were you able to find the A? I sure hope so. What did you get for the A? Uh, yeah, or a hundred percent. Okay. So we have carbon fourteen is equal to one hundred percent E B T. Now we should find the B. Um, so how much carbon fourteen do we have after five thousand seven hundred and thirty years? T percent T, yes. Uh, and the time is what did I say? Five seven three O B. Okay, so I should divide by a hundred. Yeah. So that's zero point five equals um yeah, just E five seven three O B. But now what should I do next? Log both sides. Log, log, cancel, cancel. Divide uh, by 5730. So I get B will equal minus. And then we have log 0 0.5 divided by 5730. And I get this number here. <laughs> log 0 0.5 divided by 5730 oh. uh, mine uh, okay so that's 0 0.000 why minus because minus here no you remove that calculator so okay never mind Wow, what was your problem? That I knew the answer was going to be minus? Yeah, I thought that yeah, it's you changed the minus from... I, I knew it was going to be minus because I wanted a decrease in. So now we have carbon-14 equals 100% E minus 0 0.000121T. Now let's work out the T. Um, what did I say the percentage was? 79.5% equals 100% E minus 0 0.000121T. Yeah? Divide by 100. So I get 0 0.795 equals E minus 0 0.000121T. What's next? Log. Log. Cancel. Cancel. Log of that number divided by minus 0 0.000121. So, uh, that would be fraction log 0 0.795 over minus 0 0.000121, 1,896 to two significant figures, that's 1,900. Um, a typical exam question. Typical exam question. They usually follow the same format. Um, you have an exponential, you have to find the A, you have to find the B, and then you have to use your answer in some way. It's a typical, typical exam format here. Yeah? Okay, let's see. Do we have time for one more? We don't. Um, so, it, like I said, well, I've done one to six now. Uh, it's important that you try them. Uh, nine, eight, nine, and ten are maybe a little too difficult for the exam, although maybe not eight. You should be able to do seven and eight now. Can I would hope. Nine. Huh? Nine. Can we start it? Yeah. No, I want my lunch. Mm -hmm. Hang on. Wait. Hang on. How much time? Mm -hmm. I don't think there's enough time. Yes, yeah, sorry. Ah, uh, no, it's <laughs> ran out of time. Sorry. So close. Um, if you want, we can have a look at nine, uh, seven, eight, nine, ten next Monday. If you want. Oh. What? Long. One week. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We'll finish there. Oh.
I don't know. Uh, I haven't given the grades to the tutors yet. When is your individual tutorial? Thursday. Thursday. This is when you'll get them. Your tutor will give you the results because I'm sure your tutor will want to talk to you about your results. Too bad. Why did you send their bad? No, no, no. I just mean that it doesn't matter if they're good or bad. The tutor will want to see what grades you're at and what university you want to go to and if they match. You know, it's, it's kind of a sensitive matter if the student is failing and they want to go to university at least A's. A big jump, you know. You can't just say it in class in public because then they'll start crying and, you know. Um, I don't actually know what your results are if you're wondering because I haven't looked at them in Moodle yet. Um... But like I said, I'll look at all your attempts at the quiz. All of them. Yep. That's fine. I'll be generous. So maybe if you got 60 first time and 70 second time, maybe I'll give you 65. Or if I'm feeling really generous, maybe I'll give you 70. Ah, no. No, no, no. Not that generous. Because that was like... 70s and A.